What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Many of you guys have DVDs lying around that you can't really use anymore, or we don't really use DVD players. It's not portable, it's not convenient, we can't have them on our iPhones. But what if I could tell you that you could take all those workout videos, or maybe music, or movies, or TV shows, and you could turn them into MP whatever you want files that you can place on your iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, iTunes, NAS, Android, Nexus, whatever device you have, take your whole DVD collection and turn it into an online library. What if you could do that and you could do it really, really fast with level three hardware acceleration? Well, that's where today's sponsor comes in. And today's video is brought to you guys by WinX DVD Ripper Platinum that allows you to do all of that plus some other things. So basically, it is a DVD ripping software that allows you to crop and trim DVDs. You can take DVDs and turn them into all, virtually any format you can ever even dream of, everything from AVI to MP4 and so on. And of course, you could take one DVD and turn it into an ISO image as well. And last but not least, a really interesting thing that separates this software from other software is how fast it works. It uses everything from NVIDIA's CUDA to, of course, there are a bunch of other things from Intel and that, like QSV that allows them to take DVDs and rip them in absolutely no time. But there's another advantage here as well. Not only is it 32 times faster, but you can actually go ahead and do up to 40 gigabytes so sorry if you have a giant workout collection or a giant disc then you can go ahead and do that and there's absolutely no limits on that how cool is that so this is basically great for cloning and ripping dvds and all types of dvds work and in a lot of cases you can even do 99 titles you can even do discs that are scratched to an extent so let's go ahead and check out how this works all right, so we're taking a look at the software right here, WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, and as you guys can see, I have a movie right here. Now, it's not the world's most appropriate movie, but it is a pretty big file, and it's on a disc, and I want it on my phone. So, of course, first things first, you have to choose which sequences you want, and you can actually choose individual ones. You can see the length, you can see that they're AC3 here, you can uh, just see what channels they are, and you can see the exact information, and even play the DVD directly from here, so you get the exact title sequences that you want. From here, here on out, you actually have different profiles that you can use. For example, if you always rip to the same type of MP4 format with a low quality, then you can go ahead and do that. We're just going to set it to medium here. And then, of course, you choose what type of device you want this to play on since, you know, iTunes accepts some things and other, other you know, formats aren't don't really work as well. There's AVI. As you can see, there's iPhone, iPad here, Android phone, so on and so forth. There's also a Microsoft device. You also have Sony device. And I also want to point out that there is a DVD backup option as well. So, you know, if you have a DVD disc that has an ISO or something of those sorts and you want to make a multiple of that, then you can do that as well. Now, depending on your computer, you can choose what type of hardware encoder you want to use as well. For example, if you have an Intel processor, then go ahead and choose Intel. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you don't technically need those things. But if you have what it takes, you can use those to make sure that this renders even faster. You can also go ahead and choose use high quality engine and the interface uh, interlacing so if you choose those once again quality is going to be maintained and of course it's going to render really really well now of course my build here has an eight core eight cores on my cpu and amd fx 8350 so of course i can go ahead and choose that and last but not least there is also a safe mode so if something happens nothing will happen to your dvd and corrupt files or anything of those sorts so as you can see, I just want to go ahead and check out the overview over here. So you can choose your destination folder and simply click disk and it will choose any disk you want. And of course, there is the ISO image. So if you want to go ahead and make an ISO from here or take a whole folder and create something out of that, you can do that as well. You can clear all your options if you want to get rid of all these title sequences and start all over. And there are a few options. There isn't much in there. It's very straightforward software, but the point is there. And last but not least, we have ourselves the rendering menu right here. So you can automatically shut down your computer when the conversion is complete in case you know it's going to take all night because some of these DVDs are pretty big. If you're doing a full on like nine hour workout session thing, then maybe this is the way to go. And if you have one of those multiple disk drive uh, things attached to your computer, that might take a little bit of work as well. Lastly, open output folder. So if you want to start playing the DVD or if you're rendering something for your kids or something of those sorts and you want it to have it automatically open, you can go ahead and do that as well. And as you can see, it's super super fast this thing just completed this was a full-fledged um, title and so it's perfectly set to go now this was two hours and it rendered in what like five minutes now with that said I'll be real here I do have a relatively fast computer 
and on top of that not only do i have a relatively fast computer but i have an eight core cpu uh, the gpu that you have uh, two gpus so of course everything you possibly need for this to be fast i have but that's not to say that you can't use this on slower computers but have your expectations uh to like a normal extent because if you're rendering on the world's oldest computer it might take a little bit longer but as you can see here guys it works so hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this is going to be me logging off